children learn best when they are having fun. That is why I often play games with my children to help them learn and reinforce concepts. As a math teacher, I highly recommend you print this 100 board for your preschoolers. Watch on and I will tell you why. If you're wondering where to get hold of this 100 board, I've got you covered. I have created it and it's now free for your download from the HP website. Click on the link in the description box below. I print several copies of the 100 board using the HP printer and the HP Instant Ink subscription service for my kids. With this subscription service, HP printer owners can get ink delivered right to their doorsteps. The moment HP detects that the printer is running out of ink, this is extremely convenient for a working mom like me. HP is using high volume cartridges and offers a recycling program so I can return the cartridges when they are empty. The subscription is also sustainable as the ink cartridges require less packaging and few shipments. You can save up to 50% on ink cartridges too. HP is now offering a 3 months free trial if you own or purchase any of HP's eligible printer. So click on the link below to sign up for HP Instant Ink. Numbers can be daunting for young children, especially numbers with double digits. We can help our little ones be friends with numbers by introducing these numbers in our daily lives, during our conversations, and also to use concrete real objects to bring abstract concepts like addition, subtraction, and place values come alive and make it easier for your kids to grasp. When children are familiar with place values, you can then strengthen their concepts with the numbers 1 to 100 on this 100 board. Note that this video is created for your preschoolers and school age children who are already familiar with the numbers 1 to 20, have a good number sense and are very confident in counting. If not, I recommend you watch the other videos, the fun math printable games to help your kids master their numbers 1 to 20. So what is a 100 bot? A 100 bot is a 10 by 10 grid that has numbers 1 to 100 written in sequence. It is a useful visual tool to help children learn number recognition, number sequencing, counting, patterning, skip counting and more. I use it a lot to help my kids understand the bigger picture of numbers 1 to 100 and the relationships with one another. There are many ways to play with this 100 board, but in this video, I'm just going to show you three very quick games that you can play with your little ones to help them improve their number sense as well as be familiar with numbers from 1 to 100. The first game is double the row. So each player will use a counter and start before one. Player one will then roll the dice double the number of dots shown on the dice and move the counter accordingly. For example, when the player rolls a 1, then double of 1 will be a 2, so the player will move 2 steps. The other player does the same and the person who first passes 100 will be the winner. While moving along the grid, you can encourage children to do simple mental calculations, let them guess where they will land or point out patterns. For example, when the child throws a 5, and he has to move 10 steps, you can guide your children to realize that there is no change in the one's place so the kids can just slide their counter downwards. Or if the child throws a 6 and has to move 12 steps, you can point out that 12 is 10 and 2 which means he can slide downwards before moving 2 steps forward. Conversely, if the child throws a 4 and has to move 8 steps, he can slide downwards before moving 2 steps back because 10 take away 2 is 8. The second game is what's missing. Slide the 100 board printable into a plastic sheet and add dot stickers on random numbers. Encourage your little ones to fill out the dot stickers with the missing numbers. This teaches number sequencing and number recognition. A pro tip here, encourage your little ones to explain how they arrive at that number. It is more important to hear their thought process than just achieving the correct answer. For example, you can ask them, why is the number before 30, 29? Why can't it be 39? The third game is I Spy. Rather than making your kids do a list of sums repetitively, you can write the sums on a piece of paper and encourage them to find the answers on the 100 board. This game is highly customizable. You can just write numbers or simple sums depending on the skills that you want your children to pick up. 
For example, if you find that your child often mixes up 89 and 98, you can include both numbers for them to search. Or if your child is confused about subtraction, you can include simple subtraction sums too. So there you have it, three low prep games that you can play with this 100 bot. I encourage you to print it and paste it somewhere on the wall that's accessible for your children. You can download it for free and print it from the link in the description below. If you enjoyed these ideas, I'm sure you will enjoy the tips over for this videos in my playlist Learning Through Play. You can click here to find out more. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week for our Motivation Monday series. Goodbye!